Hello children, welcome to your home school. This is your class 7 mathematics NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our third chapter data handling. We are going to start your exercise 3.1. First problem, find the range of heights of any 10 students of your class. Serial number, name, height, Height in feet we are going to take. Okay. So any 10 students of your class children. Let us take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10 students names I have taken. And I have collected their height in feet. Ajay 4.2. Sunny 5 feet. Barga 4.6 feet, Nandini 5.2 feet, Priya 5.3 feet, Mohan 4 feet, Jeevan 3.6 feet, Zubia 4.4 feet, Na Rani 5 feet, Arjun 4.5 feet. Like this I have taken some information okay, and I have represented in the form of a table. Now what is my question? Find the range. What is range children? What is the range formula you know? Range is nothing but it is the difference between high score minus low score. High score minus low score. You can simply say H minus L. Okay, in this what is the high score? Observe here which is the high score? 5.3 is the highest score. And lowest score, observe here, what is the lowest score? 3.6. 3.6 is the low score and 5.3 is the highest score. Subtract this children, 5.3 minus 3.6. 3 we cannot subtract, so we need to take a borrow. 13, 13 minus 6, it will be 7. And here you have 4, 4 minus 3 will be 1, 1 1.7. So finally, what is your range children? Range is equal to 1.7 feet is your answer. I have taken one example. So children, there is no rule that only these values you need to write. Any 10 values you can take and you need to find the range for that. Okay, you can collect any 10 children height and then write their range. Let's see the second problem. Organize the following marks in a class assessment in a tabular form. So some number of students marks was given here and they asked you four questions. Which number is the highest? Which number of the lowest? What is the range of the data and arithmetic mean? Represent the score in a tabular column. I have taken four columns, serial number, marks, tally marks, frequency, number of students. Frequency is what? Number of students. Look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20 scores. 20 children class assessments was given here. 20 children marks in a class was given. So now these 20 marks we need to represent in a tabular column. How can we represent children? So observe here what is the number you can see 1 to 9. Means your test might be within 10 marks. You can see highest number here 9. So let me mark all numbers are there or not. Check it out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes there. Serial number 1 to 9 I have written. Now, marks 1 to 9 I have written. Okay. So, one mark scored by how many people children? One mark scored by how many people? Means many members have scored same mark. At that time, we need to take frequency table. Observe here carefully. We need to take frequency table. So, one mark. Observe here. Only one student. So, tally. Draw one vertical line, frequency 1. Okay, then 2 marks. Observe here, where is 2 here? So, when you see this 2, you just put one vertical line, 
and when you see another two one more vertical line that's it count this tally two right in frequency next three mark one only one so write it here four mark one look here where my finger moves here one i have written here and here one more vertical line and there one more vertical line total three members scored four marks coming to five marks i have seen here and i have written one two three four five that is so four and here it is five children five another vertical line i need to do no we need to strike out these four and say this is five okay next what's your next number six one and here two three four next seven one two eight observe here children eight only one time nine only one time now just let's count whether all the scores we have written in the table or not 1 plus 2 3 4 7 12 16 18 19 20 20 yes 20 people score we have written here right this is the way we need to write in a table we need to represent table okay understand carefully i have written almost all the values are there in the given data so i have taken 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 marks here one mark how many people scored two mark i've seen observed here and i tried to frame in a table now let us answer those questions first question which number is the highest which number is highest let us write here highest number is equal to which is the highest number here what is the highest number 9 is the highest number so in this given scores what is the highest number 9 which number is the lowest least number if you want you can see highest number is this lowest number is this lowest number lowest number is equal to 1 what is the range of the data range what is the range of the data children range formula highest score minus lowest score h minus l you can say that is 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 high score minus low score is the range range is equal to 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 and your last question is arithmetic mean what is arithmetic mean arithmetic mean means it is a average average of these scores how can you find children you need to add all the scores and then divide it by number of scores that is your average formula arithmetic mean is equal to sum of all the scores do you remember formula sum means what adding add all the scores what you have start from there 4 plus 6 Plus seven, plus five, plus three, plus five, plus four, plus five, plus two, plus six, plus two, plus five, plus one, plus nine, plus six, plus five, plus eight, plus four, plus six, plus seven, whole divided by how many scores you have there? Twenty. So now let us add all the scores, children. Try to add all the scores. Let us add from here. Four plus six, ten. Ten plus seven, seventeen. Seventeen plus five, it will be twenty-two. Twenty-two plus three, twenty-five. Twenty-five plus five, thirty. Thirty plus four, thirty-four. Thirty-four plus five, thirty-nine. Thirty-nine plus two. Forty-one, forty-one plus six, forty-seven, forty-seven plus two, forty-nine, forty-nine plus five, fifty-four, 
54 plus 1, 55. 55 plus 9, 64. 64 plus 6, 70. 70 plus 5, 75. 75 plus 8, 83. 83 plus 4, 87. 87 plus 6, 93. 93 plus 7, 100. If you add all the scores, how much you got? 100. That equal to 100 by 20. 0, 0 cancel. 2, 5s are 10. Therefore, arithmetic mean is equal to 5. What is your arithmetic mean, children? 5 is your answer. See the third problem. Find the mean of the first 5 whole numbers. What are whole numbers, children? You all know what are natural numbers, even numbers, odd numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational. These all you have seen in your mathematics basics. I hope you all remember these. What are whole numbers? Look here. The first, the first five. How many whole numbers we need? Only five. The first five whole numbers are 0. Natural numbers along with 0 are called as the whole numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Look here children, with the 0 I count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First 4, 5 whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the question they asked? Mean. How do you calculate mean? What is the mean formula? Sum of the scores by number of the scores. Add all these. Sum of the scores means 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 by how many scores? 5. Now add this. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 by 5. If you cancel, your answer is 2. Therefore, Mean of first five whole numbers. Mean of first five whole numbers is equal to 2. That is your answer. Okay. See the fourth one children. A cricketer scores the following runs in eight innings. How many innings? Eight innings. See the scores 58, 76, 40, 35, 46, 45, 0, 100. Find the mean score. Mean. No need of thinking more children here. Mean. Mean means what is the formula? Sum of the score by number of the scores. So let's add all these. 58 plus 76 plus 40 plus 35 plus 46 plus 45 plus 0 plus 100. By how many innings? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total number. Okay. Now add all these children. How do we add? So let's go with the last number. That is 0 plus 5. 5 plus 6 it will be 11. 11 plus 5. 16. 16 plus 6. 22. 22 plus 8. 30. Okay, 3. Keep in mind and start adding here again. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 3, 14. 14 plus 4, 18. 18 plus 7, 25. 25 plus 5, 30. 30 children, 30 again. 3 keep in mind and start adding. 3 plus 1, 4. 400 by 8. Cancel this one. 8. 5s are 40 and 0. That will be how much you are going to get? Therefore, the mean of 8 innings is equal to 50. Okay? Try to understand carefully children. Always mean if they are sum of the scores by number of the scores. With this, we are going to end our session. In our next session, we are going to continue with the exercise. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.